corneal graft rejection episode. In this video, we have a case of a patient who's had a previous penetrating keratoplasty one year ago, and they come with a history of a red eye, sensitivity to light, a reduction in their vision, and pain. And I don't know if you just noticed that those presenting complaints have the acronym of RSVP. So remember that, and that's a great one for your clinical practice. R for red, S for sensitive, V for vision loss, and P for pain. Now, there are a number of risk factors for patients presenting with graft rejection. And you know, some of the high risk penetrating keratoplasty cases are patients who've had pre previous graft rejection, those who've got corneal neovascularization, inflammatory conditions such as hepatic keratitis or uveitis, and larger grafts. And we kind of classify those larger grafts where the graft is, say, more than 8.5 millimeters. Low risk cases might be patients with, say, keratoconus who've had a clear recipient bed, patients with Fuchs endothelial dystrophy without neovascularization, or no history of previous graft rejection. So really, what I do want you to remember is that graft rejection risk is higher in patients who have had prior inflammation, neovascularization, previous graft failure, and really long-term steroid therapy is crucial to the survivability of the graft. I want you to remember that RSVP, okay? Here we're looking for some cells in the anterior chamber, and we've seen already in this case that there's plenty of decimase folds and epithelial edema. So the management of this patient was really to increase their topical steroids to one hourly. And we actually saw them a couple of days later, and this epithelial edema had significantly reduced. So this is a patient in which we really need to be extremely vigilant for rejection episodes and potentially consider some systemic immuno immunomodulatory therapy to reduce the risk of graft rejection. Hope you found this video useful. It was a very interesting case for me to learn from and I hope you've learned lots from it too.